Calculating limits using limit laws part two. So here I've written out these, these uh, answers. So the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to nine. Then we have the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to one. And then the limit of h of x as x approaches a is equal to 27. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and try to solve these problems down here. So first off, we have the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a. So what's the answer to that? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to split up this, this problem. And we do it by doing this. So we're going to write the limit of f of x as x approaches a plus the limit of g of x as x approaches a. So now, what's the limit of f of x as x approaches a? Well, that's been given right here as a 9. So this is going to be 9 plus the limit of g of x as x approaches a. So that's, that's been given as 1. So I'll put that there. So the answer to this is 10. That's going to be. Now the limit of f of x squared as x approaches a. So to do this one, we're going to go ahead and just pull this out and square it afterwards. So we're going to, do, we're going to say, the limit of f of x as x approaches a, and we're going to square that. So what's the limit of f of x as x approaches a? Well, that's 9. So we're going to put 9, and that's going to be squared, so that's going to be equal to 81. Let's go down to the next one. So here we have the limit of h of x, uh, the cube root, as x approaches a. So how do we do that? So first off, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this cube root out of it first. So I'm gonna say, the limit as x approaches a. Uh, let's see, here's the limit of h of x as x approaches a. Then we're gonna do the cube root on this. So let's see, what is h of x? h of x is 27, so 27 raised to third power, and that's going to be equal to 3. So now let's go to the next one. The limit of f of x divided by g of x as x goes to a. So again, we're going to separate these. We're going to say the limit of f of x as x approaches a divided by the limit of g of x as x approaches a. So what's the limit of f of x? That was, I believe it was 9. Then the limit of g of x as x approaches a is 1. So 9 divided by 1 is equal to 9. That's the answer for this one. Let's go on to the next one. So here we go, here we have e, so the limit of 1 divided by g of x as x approaches a. So again, I'm going to go ahead, well, you can't really, you can't do the limit on a constant, so that's just going to be it by itself. So I'm just going to apply this to the g of x. So it's going to be 1 divided by the limit of g of x as x approaches a. And I think g of x is 1. So we're going to say 1 divided by 1, that's equal to 1. So that's the answer to that one. Let's go on to the next one. Now here we have a little one that's a little more complicated. We have the limit of, of this mass. So it's 4 times uh, f of x plus 9 times g of x divided by 2 times f of x plus h of x. So again, we're going to distribute this limit to each of these. Well, here, let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to say four times the limit of f of x as x approaches a plus nine times the limit of g of x as x approaches a. This is going to be divided by two times the limit of f of x as x approaches a plus the limit 
of h of x as x approaches a. So now we just have to plug in the values for these. Since we already know what the limit of f of x is and g of x and h of x, uh, we just plug those values right in. So we're going to get 4 times 9 plus 9 times 1 over, uh, I think this is 2 times 9 plus uh, h of x is 27. So that's going to be equal to 4 times 9 is 36 plus 9 over 18 plus 27. So this is going to be equal to 45 over 45 which is equal to 1. And that's how you do these problems. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they helped you out. And uh, good luck in your classes.